The following program is a paid presentation by Maverick Multimedia Incorporated. SST is brought to you by Stark Auto Sales, home of the ultimate worldwide scratch and dent car sale. Hey friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to another edition of the SST Car Show. Tons of stuff on tap for you today. Let's get right into it, shall we? With this look at a very cool, hot hearse that we found in Detroit, the Motor City. It's owned by William Dore. He put the whole thing together himself. He's quite an artist. I've seen a car or two in my day, and normally I know what they are, but I don't know what the heck this thing is. That's usually my first question. They always want to know what it is and what's under the hood. And the response I've got for them is it's a 1949-50 rat rod truck hearse. It is a fully legal hearse. Um, I've designed it so you can do funerals if you need to with it. I belong to about 14 different hearse clubs throughout the United States. Um, the one we have that the one I belong to the most is uh, just hearsing around out of the uh, Hell, Michigan. So we usually do a lot of shows. We've got one coming up here in September fairly soon. Um, but I've never seen anything like it. I've, I've always loved cars. I've had a, quite a few hearses. Um, I've just wanted something that was actually different. You've never seen before. And if I can build it, that was the biggest thing. This is the first car I've ever built. Um, took about six months. Um, I'm a builder by trade, so I do houses and commercial. I don't work on metal or cars. Um, so some winter ago, about four years ago, I was single, didn't have anybody around, I was bored. Uh, so during the winter time, I came up with this idea of let's build a hearse. <laughs> well, it's not just a car, it's a piece of art. It's a piece of art. We, uh, we've been down to the Ann Arbor Rolling Scarp show for the last couple of years, and it fits in so well. Um, for what is different, I just, I wanted something that was a pleasing and I had a list that I wanted to see if I can accomplish it. And I checked everything off of it except for putting an air ride system on it. So as low as it sits, that's how low it sits. So what did you start with? It started technically with a, with a casket. That was the whole build was, had to have a casket, go from there. Um, I picked up the back end is a 1950 from the exact same year of the Chevy on it. Um, out of Brooklyn, Michigan, that was just a trailer. So that's kind of what started off of that. Founded the, almost the entire pickup out of Flint on, on a line auction. And then the running drivetrain is from a 2001 1500 Chevy Silverado four-wheel drive pickup. So it does have four-wheel drive too. So what did you do, you know, in terms of ornamentation or decoration? Uh, this thing is, I put all kinds of bells and whistles. It has flamethrowers, it has lights, sirens. Um, people like, how do you get it here? I drive it. It is a, it is a legal uh, car. It's titled for a 1949 uh, Chevy pickup. So I've never been pulled over on it. I've had it about four years now. Uh, I do about 80 down the freeway with it. So this, it is, it drives like a Cadillac. Um, the biggest feature is it does have the casket that comes with it. Um, I've got beer kegs on the side that um, disguise the propane tanks that we have for the flamethrowers. And it actually houses one of the beer kegs that actually I do have a beer system on it that does serve beer. Unfortunately, I'm out right now, so. <laughs> but it's, it was just something to have fun with to see if I can accomplish it. And I've, I've had it everywhere. I've been everywhere with it. Um, I, I've just, it is a lot of fun to do. And it just, you drive down the road anywhere and everybody's like, oh, look at that, what, what, what was that? Yeah. So. And I guess the, the part of the thing is it's the patina. It's not about making it shine, no. it's uh, about character. Yes, um, this one here, my idea, I've seen it um, down 
you know, California, Texas, they like that rust. And I wanted something that was hopefully rusty, still look good. And surprisingly, with the two different vehicles, people are like, how did you get them to look the same? That's the way I bought them. Um, everything on the car just came together extremely well. Um, to do something like this in six months was, didn't have a girlfriend, didn't have kids anymore, and I was bored. So I wanted to see if I could accomplish something that was, if I could do it or not, and I had the best fun. You meet a lot of new guys, you know, everybody out here is just cool. Uh, it's amazing who you can meet and see and, and... And I would imagine you do attract a lot of attention and uh, meet a lot of people. You go to the gas station and that's that's about it. We have we stop at rest stops and, you know, people are just like, wow, you got lucky. You actually got to see something that... But everybody's just, they want to see it, take a look at it, take pictures. But the same thing, what is it? What's under the hood? Yeah, and you say that it's a legal hearse? It is a legal hearse. I have not done a funeral yet, but you technically need to die to get in it. So... It's one of those things where it's just if someone does and they want the services, I've got it ready to go, but it has been registered to do actually funerals. So I can, and it's one of those odd things that you just got to find that one person. Not me. No. I, I can wait. No, it's yeah. a lot of, you get a lot of bikers out here and they think that would be the coolest. It's just the same thing. You need to die to actually, you know, get the ride in it. And But we take a lot, I take people out once in a while with it. So it's fun. It's just, it's different because... Anywhere you drive, everybody's head turns. You go down the freeway. It's amazing. You get semi drivers that will actually slow down to make sure what's going on. They want to see it. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much thank for sharing you. it with us today. You too. Don't go away. When we come back, a salute to the Mercury Comet. Watch movies, sports, and TV shows with no monthly fees. Get your Super Geeks Android TV box. Simply connect to your TV with the supplied HDMI cable and connect to Wi-Fi. Watch what you want, when you want. On demand in high definition, even 4K. A great alternative to cable, Netflix, satellite, and video rentals. Don't settle for a smart TV. Turn your TV into a genius with a Super Geeks Android TV box. Boxes start as low as $39.99 with full warranty. Pays for itself. Select from thousands of free online shows. We even provide remote service so you'll never be without your TV. Updates itself automatically. 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Available at the SuperGeekSuperstore.com. Register now for a better way to buy a car at StarkAutoSales.com. Just click register for free and buy where the dealers buy. Hundreds of insurance claim vehicles auctioned every week from Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Calgary and Edmonton. Visit in person or bid from anywhere online. Stark ships worldwide. Parts cars, rebuildable wrecks, damage free theft recoveries. Click register and save at StarkAutoSales.com. Introducing the Lotus Super Hearing Device. Superior sound at a fraction of the price from Siemens and Super Geeks. Hearing aids can cost as much as $4,000 or more, but the Lotus is now affordable. Its revolutionary digital processor reduces background noise, delivering crystal clear audio. Rated a best buy through this special Super Geek Superstore offer, you can get the Lotus Super Hearing Device for just four easy payments of $49.99. That's right, just four easy payments of $49.99. It fits behind my ear very comfortably and I don't even realize I'm wearing it. Fully guaranteed, uses standard batteries. Call 1-866-248-1490. Change your life for the better. Hear conversations, watch TV, even take telephone calls with confidence again. Manufactured to world-class standards by Siemens. Hearing aids are so expensive, but this was very reasonable. I now can hear what people are saying, even in a noisy restaurant or a noisy environment. Don't be fooled by cheaper devices. This is an affordable, high-quality hearing solution. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or visit supergeeksuperstore.com to order. 
Now I can hear everything, and it's changed my entire life. The Lotus Super Hearing Device from Siemens and Super Geeks. Not available in stores. SuperGeeksSuperstore.com this week's feature product is the all-new Super Geeks H96 Max Super TV Box. Watch movies, TV shows, live sports, your favorite networks and channels with no monthly fees. IPTV compatible. Call 1-866-248-1490. The Super Geeks H96 Max has an all-new quad processor and more memory. It's faster and more powerful. It has the newest of everything, newest Kodi. Newest Android operating system, newest Bluetooth, newest and fastest USB 3 ports, 64-bit 4K HD video starting at just $35.99. Add more memory for even faster performance at the SuperGeeksSuperstore.com or call 1-866-248-1490. SuperGeeksSuperstore.com Hey friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome back to the SST Car Show. Let's take a look now, shall we, at Steve Sakala's Mercury Comet. It's not pristine, it's a survivor, but it really does chronicle an important part of motoring history. Here's a salute to this old Mercury. Steve, you have behind us here one of the um, one of the cars really kind of stuck out at this cruise today to me, okay. and I thought it was a Maverick, a Ford <laughs> Maverick at first, but you're telling me it's not even that. It's even rarer. It is. What is it? It's a Mercury Comet, which is obviously very closely related to the Maverick, but not yeah. quite. It's sort of the sister car, the, the sister Mercury car. version of that. They changed the front end a little bit and the back end a little bit. So everybody knows what a Mustang is, and uh, uh, maybe even a Cougar but a lot of people have probably forgotten, or if you're not old enough, you maybe just don't even hear about the Maverick or the Comet in this case. But they kind of have a similar look, but what's the difference between this and say like a, a Mustang? Ah, uh, they're just rare. And yeah. I got stuck with this car long, long, long ago and uh, I've kept it. So I bought it back when I graduated from college and I've had it ever since. It's funny you use the, the word stuck with it. Um, yeah. You know, like, because I think these cars never really got the respect that they deserved. No, they didn't. Uh, I, this was this is a 77, so last year they made it, and I bought it with low mileage when I was still in college, but um, I planned to buy other cars, Camaros and Mustangs and other stuff, and I just kind of hung on to this over the years, and I still have it. Yeah, they always were kind of viewed as sort of a poor man's Mustang, I think, in a way. Uh, never, quite, <laughs> never quite had the... The, the, the panache or the, the, the style or even the power. No, but uh, this has a 302 in it. So I, I pulled the engine out years ago, it had a six cylinder. So it's uh, now got a eight cylinder 302. So it, it moves okay. But uh, yeah, no, it doesn't have the popularity of a Mustang or Camaro um, or any of that. Yeah, I mean, you can see some of the same styling cues in them as a Mustang, sort of, some of the same lines. Mustang but, 2, yeah, yeah, the Mustang 2 maybe. I think they share the same uh, underpinnings with that. Yeah, yeah. But the Mustang 2 kind of came afterward. Yeah. Um, what powertrains were originally in these cars? You say it was a six cylinder, was it an inline six? Yeah, it was a, it was a straight six. Um, and then they, they did offer 302s in them. And then I had a 302 that I swapped into this because the engine actually blew in this car. So I put a 302 in it um, years ago. The, inter it, the interiors are kind of basic in them as well. Very basic vinyl, very uncomfortable vinyl. Uh, needs to be redone, but it works. <laughs> yeah. And what, after all these years, it seems like you're kind of out of love with it but you still have it, so you must have some affinity to it. No, you, I haven't. You know? No, I still love it. It's, yeah. it's mine. They're rare, and it's mine, and I've always planned to get it all repainted and redone. Haven't done it yet. Had kids and all that stuff instead, but someday. But you're still enjoying it, and oh, that's yeah. the main thing, right? Very much so. Yeah. See, so it, it's drivable. You bring it out. You do yep. your thing with it. Yeah. Yeah, it runs great. Uh, you know, starts every day. Doesn't, no problems. Ro and I guess most important is it has it holds a lot of memories for you personally. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I took my wife on her first few dates in this car and stuff, so it goes way back 
to then. So, right. so it's more important to you, and, and and it's more special than a Mustang ever could be. In that way. In some ways, yes. <laughs> I still would not mind a Mustang, but I will settle. I'm not going to tell your wife. I'm not telling your wife you said that. I like Mustangs and Camaros too, but. <laughs> These are rare, and it's mine. Not many people have them. So. All right. Thank you so much for sharing the Thank car you. with us today, man. That yeah. was awesome. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. When we come back, we'll take you to one of North America's finest Firebird and Trans Am shows. Introducing the Lotus Super Hearing Device. Superior sound at a fraction of the price from Siemens and Super Geeks. Hearing aids can cost as much as $4,000 or more, but the Lotus is now affordable. Its revolutionary digital processor reduces background noise, delivering crystal clear audio. Rated a best buy through this special Super Geek Superstore offer, you can get the Lotus Super Hearing Device for just four easy payments of $49.99. That's right, just four easy payments of $49.99. It fits behind my ear very comfortably and I don't even realize I'm wearing it. Fully guaranteed uses standard batteries. Call 1-866-248-1490. Change your life for the better. Hear conversations, watch TV, even take telephone calls with confidence again. Manufactured to world-class standards by Siemens. Hearing aids are so expensive, but this is very reasonable. I now can hear what people are saying, even in a noisy restaurant or a noisy environment. Don't be fooled by cheaper devices. This is an affordable, high-quality hearing solution. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or visit supergeeksuperstore.com to order. Now I can hear everything, and it's changed my entire life. The Lotus Super Hearing Device from Siemens and Super Geeks. Not available in stores. Bring back the excitement with these all-new Super Geeks retro video game consoles. This Super Nintendo-style console has 621 games included. Save this weekend just $29.99. Super Mario, Street Fighter, Tetris, Pac-Man, and hundreds of other classic video games included. Plug and play on any modern TV and enjoy yesterday's classic games in full high definition. HDMI cable included. Systems come with two controllers. Order now from a real person at 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online. Visit supergeeksuperstore.com. Don't be fooled by cheaper systems. Super Geek Systems use modern HDMI cables for modern full HD quality. 1-866-248-1490. SuperGeeksSuperstore.com. Super Geek's retro video game consoles. Bringing the past into the future. Sally hates paying for cable TV. So she got the Super Geek's Super Tana. Sally called 1-866-248-1490 and ordered online at the SuperGeeksSuperstore.com. Now she watches dozens of high-definition TV channels for free. Sally gets all the major networks and specialty channels, even old classic shows. You can, too, and save money every month. 100% legal. No more monthly fees. Her picture quality is as good as or better than cable. She even gets channels the cable companies don't offer. Compact enough to mount in your attic or on your balcony and tough enough to mount on your roof. Plus, the Super Tana comes with a video amplifier and wireless remote control. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Get smart like Sally and order your Super Tana at supergeekssuperstore.com. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique Chevs. No tail fins? We have your parts. Call us toll-free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com. Download a catalog. Order online. Delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. Off we go to the Steve Plunkett Estate now, 
for John Hockley's Firebird and Trans Am show. This event is growing. It is one of the best Firebird and Trans Am shows in all of North America. The seventh annual All Trans Am and Firebird Car Show in London, Ontario was a wicked ride down memory lane. Um, this year we had uh, a record break in attendance, which was you know, absolutely great. The show is quickly becoming the premier niche show of its kind in Ontario. It is certainly one of the best in Canada. Great show. Every year it's just growing and getting bigger and different stuff every year it seems. Dozens of immaculate Trans Ams and Firebirds showed up early at the Steve Plunkett Estate with their owners eager to share stories and friendship with others who share their common interest in all things Pontiac Firebird. Yeah, I love Firebirds. Yeah. I see that. You have yeah. your Firebird shirt on. <laughs> yeah, you're all decked out. Yeah. How about you? You got your Mickey Mouse hat on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm loving the show. My favorite type of Firebird is the 69. 69? Yeah. You know, that's got a lot of style, man. Yeah. Oh, I've been chatting it up with so many people, and, and by the time the conversation's over, I've made a new friend. And like, even if it's a, you know, the camaraderie is closer at this show than any place I've ever been. You won't find anything other than Firebirds and Trans Ams here. The quality of the cars here was simply incredible. Is your car here? Yes, mine and my husband's, yes. Yeah. It's got the Ram Air. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make it go faster? Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> This Trans Am Super Duty was one rare car. And this Firebird Esprit was also turning heads. Uh, this car was sold out of Oshawa. It's a Canadian car. I actually purchased it in London, Ontario. I've had it for about 10 years now. Huh. When I bought it, it had 17,000 miles on it. Now it's only got 25,000. From one of the first Firebirds ever produced to one of the last. All generations of Firebirds and Trans Ams were represented. This is last call for Firebird Trans Am. The, CT, the CETA called this uh, Collector Edition Trans Am. And uh, it was built in March of 02 and the lines went down around June. This was the last idea of build because in the American brochure of 2002, which is over here, there's no pictures of this model. And then last minute, the American version, they put out this little smaller brochure of the collector edition. Here's the Canadian brochure. So we were kind of in Canada, we kind of know things, and they built it here in St. Therese, Quebec. Yeah. So we, uh, that's Canadian American. So it's a beautiful car, everything's stock on it. And I did a little highlights on the trim, on the graphics, finished where GM faltered a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a beautiful car. These GTAs were getting a lot of attention. The event is hosted each year by John Hockley, who owns what is possibly the most accurate Smokey and the Bend tribute Trans Am in Canada. But on the, on the show shirts here, it says right here, in memory of Burt Reynolds. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. And if it wasn't for Burt Reynolds, I don't know if I'd be a car guy. So back in 1977, when I first saw the Smokey and the Bandit, that's, I instantly became a car guy. The only vehicle that was not a Firebird that was on the show field was a Pontiac Le Mans, a tribute to the police car from the Smokey and the Bandit movie. It keeps the memories alive of the movie, Smokey and the Bandit, memories for us, for other people. It's all about memories and about letting people get photos with the Trans Am, with the Pontiac, and it's a one-of-a-kind moment.
The event attracted a healthy crowd this year. People were coming from further away than ever. You'll find a mix of all original restorations and some resto mines. And the venue is ideal. You can't beat Steve Clunk on state. I mean, we're spoiled rotten with uh, the grounds here. I mean, it is, it is a golf course, which is, I mean, meticulously taken care of. And he lets us come on here with our cars. So, I mean, what a gracious host. And some cars featured incredible airbrushed custom paint jobs. I love your paint, man. Thanks, brother. Yeah, that, that's real paint. That's not... Real paint, yep. yeah. Airbrushed. Yeah, who did the uh, who did that? Uh, Paul from Elmira, actually. He done it and uh, done a really good job and uh, turned out really well. Yeah, it's a little bit different, too. It's not just like regular old school flames. Yeah, it's House of Color uh, True Fire. Um, and he incorporated a bunch of stuff for my father that passed away. We had done the build for him. and. We just uh, done some guitars and some skulls and some cards and just I told them to have fun with it. So of course all of these would really be classified as orphan cars because of course Pontiac is no longer in business. They don't make Pontiacs anymore. You think GM made a mistake by uh, discontinuing the Pontiac line? Big time, big time. The fun, the fun exciting cars were all Pontiacs. Grand Nams, Grand Prix, GTOs. Uh, the Firebirds, General Motors killed it. They literally put, pushed themselves so small, they will never be number one again. Because they they're just had so much, uh, what you call, um, market share, but killing Pontiac, killing Oldsmobile, I could see. Killing the Hummer and the Saab, all that. But killing Pontiac was a shot in the foot. The nice part about the Firebirds is they don't make them anymore. And every year I come out and I'm so impressed by how many they're still on the road that makes me very happy <laughs> this year we get some uh, more people from the united states that came out and more people that came from from far like ottawa and up that way so i mean really good turnout i'm really happy with it yeah. we raised a lot of money for breast cancer research which is which is what this whole thing is all about that's a sweet ride man is that the original color yes yeah, yeah. Do they have a name for that? They call it Carousel Red. Carousel Red. Yeah, on the Chevy, on the Chevy side it would be uh, Hugger Orange. Yeah. But Pontiac's called it Carousel Red for whatever reason. These are nice. These are the ones you say, I should have kept it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they do bring back memories for you. They do. They always have. And you shed a tear or two because you don't have them anymore. You do. That's, it's the truth. John Hockley says he'll be reaching out to more Pontiac Firebird and Trans Am clubs over the course of the next year because he wants to make next year's all Trans Am and Firebird show even bigger. To find out more, you can visit LondonTransAm.com. Rick Walker, SST Car Show News. Well, friends, that's all the time we have today. So until next time, I'm Rick Walker reminding you, when you can't get to the car show, we will bring the car show to you. Catch you next time, right here on the next edition of SST. Multimedia Production.